Hi guys, so I've seen a lot of people doing the booktube newbie tag and I thought it was fun and cute so I'm just gonna do it. So the first question is why did you start this channel? So I love talking about books and you know there's only so much I can do when I talk about books with friends that like haven't read the books. I am in a book club but I just wanted another outlet to talk about them a lot and then also I noticed and this is kind of the second question. So the second question are what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? And I noticed while maybe this is only it's the booktubers that I found, but there hasn't been someone with my exact taste. So I feel like a lot of the popular booktubers are either heavily romance readers, and I don't like romance books, but I still watch them like Steph Bower and um, Destiny and Sarah. Like I love them. So I just watch their videos that I like never read the books that they recommend. <laughs> And then there's the other side, which is like Noelle Gallagher and Jack, who I love, um, and I really like a lot of their recommendations, but some of them are just like too academic for me. <laughs> and you know, it's like I don't want to try that hard while I'm reading. So I dabble in with it sometimes, but I mostly just want something fun. And I feel like I mostly read literary fiction, so I think that there's a space for me on here if that makes sense or there's like a gap um with the kind of book taste that I like I'm sure that there are booktubers with the same taste as me but I just haven't really found them yet so I thought that that was something unique that I could bring and then the next question is what are you most excited for for this channel so I've really really enjoyed editing the videos um I loved making videos on iMovie when I was a kid like I made stop motion videos and music videos all the time I think it's just like a creative outlet that I really like and I've really been enjoying it um, especially the travel videos because those are more um creative but so I'm super excited just to actually film and edit them but then also obviously for a community because that's so fun and I'm almost at 100 subscribers which is really fun and then the next question is why do you love reading I really like the booktube community I'm not gonna lie it makes me feel smart and better than everyone <laughs> I just like having an area that I'm really knowledgeable about and I feel like a lot of people are like really into movies or really into D TV or like music and other forms of media and this is my form of media that I would say is my main form. I really like not being on a screen. I really like that it's something that you can bring with you everywhere like bring bringing a book to the beach, bringing a book to the park. Also having a book club is really fun and I mean I guess you could do that with other forms of media but it's just not the same so yeah I just really like discussing books and then what book or series got you into reading so I was into reading in like middle school and high or as a child and then I kind of stopped in high school and college and I feel like a lot of people that happened to a lot of people so I would say the book that got me into reading in 2020 during lockdown that's when I started again was the Nightingale by Kristen Hanna it was the most gripping heart-wrenching interesting story um, I love World War II historical fiction and it just I was like flipping the page because I wanted to know what happened and it just like completely moved me and it made me just get so into reading so I'm so thankful for that and I'm so happy I picked it up at that time what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I would ask Jack Edwards on a date. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So for me, it's definitely reading fast enough to come out with content all the time. Um, I have a full-time job and a social life, so it's like hard for me to read really quickly and read a lot of books. Like I probably read a book like every two weeks and that's not very good for, you know, pumping out YouTube videos. <laughs> especially monthly reading wrap-ups like I pretty much have if I want any sustenance in the video I need to do like bi-monthly reading wrap-ups where I have you know two months in it to make the video long enough so I think that is the hardest part for sure and then when did you start reading so I started reading like I said you know growing up and then but this era of reading I got into in 2020 during lockdown which honestly was, you know, that was a good thing for me at that time. And then where do you read? So I read in my apartment mostly, but I also love taking a book to the beach or to the park. 
it just gets me out of the house and I love being outside and then occasionally I'll go to a coffee shop and read but especially when I'm on when I'm traveling I love when I'm traveling to go to the coffee shops and read like that's my favorite part or the park honestly and then what kind of books do you like to read so I would say mainly literary fiction historical fiction thrillers and then I also like memoirs as well if they're good I had a couple you know memoirs that I really liked and then for literary fiction I'm open to just so many different stories like I love reading about different perspectives I just yeah that's one thing I really love about reading so I'm really open to I haven't really read science fiction but I'd be down and then the last question is what does your book collection look like so I'm gonna show you guys right now this is my main bookshelf that I'm really proud of I keep my books in a couple different places and I'll show but I organize all of them by color which I really like like I don't know I think it looks really good so these are all my warm toned books and then these are my cooler tone books like blues and greens and then I have Akatar right here and then the shelf is kind of random I just have the Hunger Games and some black books this is my nightstand so I have the Harry Potter series and then I also have all of my black books like books with black covers and then the rest of them are here in my living room so and they're also organized by colors so I just kind of have some black ones right there gray ones right there I have these two coffee table books that I love and then and then white ones right there okay so that was the newbie tag let me know if you're also new to booktube and I'll subscribe to you but thank you for watching bye